Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope everybody is safe and well. And I'd like to uh, thank anybody who's here for the first time. If you do like what you see, then please feel free to um, like and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much if you are a returning subscriber. Much appreciated. So today is the end of year whip parade for 2023. Um, so this year I only worked on 23 projects, but I am going to show all my projects. <laughs> Just so if you've not seen them before, if you're new to the channel, you know what projects I am working on. Um, and then next year, it's uh, Stitch What I Want, What I Want. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so uh, again, uh, disclaimer, it's not my fault if your credit cards or debit cards end up running up some bills from looking at the projects I've got and you decide you want. <laughs> um, so shall we get into this? So this will possibly be between an hour and an hour and a half. Uh, I'm, I'm known for my quick videos and I've got, I think it's 60 something projects, 50, I'm, I'm 50, maybe 50s, 50 something, I can't remember. <laughs> um, I will link all my projects down in the description box as well. So if you are looking to see any that you like and you want to know where they're from, um, they are there or you can always message me as well. So I will be stopping the video a couple of times because I've got four piles <laughs> of projects. So um, I've put these in alphabetical order. Um, so if there are any finishes, they will come up where they are in their place, if you know what I mean. So let's get straight into this, shall we? So the first project I have, uh, if I've worked on them, uh, this is all over the shop already. <laughs> if I've worked on them this year, I will put a before picture in where it started at the beginning of the year. Um, and if I haven't worked on it, I'll tell you, uh, I've not worked on it. And if I've got any plans for any of them, I'll let you know those as I go along as well. So the first one I've got is called 12 Months of a Snowman. Uh, this is a Afghan by Swagger. And as the name suggests, it's 12 Months of a Snowman. Um, so this one is being done on a Afghan fabric. I don't know what size fabric it is. <laughs> and it's four over one, full cross. Now I've, I've only got a little start on this one. I started it the other year. So that's for the very first snowman. So what I'm hoping to do this year is try and do all 12. Um, so each month, try and get each one finished. Um, whether I can or not is a different thing. It works out roughly between three and 4,000 stitches per block uh, for the month. So we will try. <laughs> but if not, I'll be saying for maybe six. <laughs> so, yeah, well, excuse me two seconds. I'm just going to put this back in its bag so that the fabric doesn't get all messed up. All the zippers should be undone. Um, there may be one or two that I have to take out of a crinkle bag, but I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm going to be putting them into a tub because if you're new here, I have cats and they like to get in tubs and play with bags. <laughs> so that's that one. The next one I have is a project by the Long Dog Sampler, which is uh, Anzac. And excuse me, I'm just throwing my uh, soaps everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, this is this one uh, by Anzac. And this one I'm doing on an 18 count Ada, which was coffee tea dyed, I think, or coffee dyed uh, by Kelly, who's Kel Stitches here on Floss Tube. So this one didn't get any work on it this year. Um, so that you can see it, can it go? Um, now this has been stitched with a Mrs. Sader Silk in the colorway Supernova. And I'm doing it one over one, full cross. So I'm hoping you can see these okay. When I'm editing it, if they're not looking very good, I'll try and take a picture and insert it. So yeah, so that is Supernova. So this one, I want to try and get about halfway at least this year. Try. Try is gonna be my favorite word today. <laughs> in case you've not seen the silks, these are the silks from Mrs. Sadis. So that's all the colorway in there. Um, 
on, the next one is in a Garen totem bag. And this is my Mirabilia, which is Archangel. And this one is being done on a 32 count. Um, I forgot the name of the fabric. I'm going to throw it in here in two seconds. I'll remember it when I, as soon as I see it. Reach out to Permin. Okay, that's it in the Chloe Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> and yeah, I'd remember it. And this one, I want to at least get um, the top half of him finished next year. Um, now this one got worked on this year and it got 1,603 stitches in on this one. Now I do apologize, I don't iron any of my projects. And this fabric on here is absolutely horrible. It's the most creasiest fabric I have ever known. <laughs> so this is where we've got up to on there. So I'll put a picture in as well of where it was last year. Hopefully, if I move them over a bit. <laughs> so this year I just mainly went, continued working all the way up to the top to then work top down, because I like working top down. And this is all um, cranic, gold cranic. So yeah, I want to, so I think this part here is the bottom of the page. So I'll put a little bit here to have got his other wing and then his body and just little bits of filling through here. So yes, so we want to see if I can get him at least the top half finished this year. And this one is stitched two over two full cross. Um, the next one is a project by Tilton Crafts. And this is um, Big Cats, and the artwork is Tammy Alba. Now this one is no longer available. And this year I've been working across the top, um, trying to get the uh, top row finished. Now this one is being stitched on a 25 count easy guide, and I'm doing it one over one full cross. Just if you are a um, squirmish of park threads, you may want to look away. <laughs> Most of my projects do have part threads on them. Now this one I did work on this year. Uh, this one got 2,084 stitches. And this is where this one is at. So I think at the end of last year I left him, I finished his face. So this year I finished this page here and worked my way across to the end of the row. So for next year, I want to at least try and get this page finished and make a good start on, on this page. So we'll see how we go with that one. Oh yeah, love how that one's turning out. Yeah, I'm sorry for the noise, I'll put these back in the bags. The next one I have is a um, piece by uh, Pain Free Crafts. Artwork is Stanley Morrison, and this is Blackberry Dragon. Which is this one? Now this one is being stitched on a 28 count easy guide, and I'm doing it one over one at full cross. Now this one did get some work in it this year. It's gonna fall now, so apologies. So this one got 1,357 stitches in it. This is where we are on there now. So I did a bit more work this year in his face, trying to get his face filled in. Um, so in his wing, and then I decided I was gonna move up to the top and start working across the top, just so I can try and get some working on him. That's a single row that I've done across the top. <laughs> so yeah, so this is Blackberry Dragon. So this year I'm just gonna, again, get on this whatever I can. Put that one down the side. Everything's gonna fall, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> it was all nicely balanced, no it's not. 
There we go. Right, the next one I uh, I have is a kit, uh, and this one is called Von Free. It's a DMC kit, which is this one. Uh, this one got worked on this year, and this got 1,036 stitches in this one. Now I've mainly been working at the top here because I like to work top down, so I made work at the top, and I've been working my way downwards. Now this one is on a 16 count black Ada and it's two over one full cross. Let's move the part threads. So this is where we're on there. So this part was already done. So I worked up to the top and then started filling in from the top down. I'm going to make it a bit better for you. So this is born free. So again, next year with this one, I'll just get stitched and whatever I can. I do want to get some good progress in on this one, but we will see. The next one is a project that never worked on this year, and this one is um, from Heaven and Earth Design. It's artwork by Jan Patrick Krasny and it is Castle Wolves. And I always start top left, so I'm working in this area up here at the moment. And apologies, I, I didn't realise this one was in the bag, so I need to take this out of the bag. This is on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing one over one full cross. Is here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> this helps with all, all your product when you've not worked on for a bit, you want to get back and start working on it again. So, this is where we are on there. So, this year again, it'll just be a case of stitching on whatever we can stitch on it. I do like the colours in this one, it's very subtle and pale. The next one I worked on is another kit. I'll find the picture. Where's the picture? There it is. And this one is uh, Chief Eagle Spirit. This is a DMC kit. Is this one now this one wasn't going to be one that i worked on this year but i did actually do a bit of work on it um i finished one of my projects and i thought i wonder if i can get this one finished by the end of the year um the answer to that was no because <laughs> i didn't get a chance to work on it very often uh, now this is on 14 count white ada and it's uh, two over one i have a full cross or half stitch and this one got 1568 stitches on there And this is where we are on that one. I've still got the part therapy. Uh, I've still got the back stitching to do in the chief himself and the last other to finish off. Um, but since I decided I was going to try and see if I can finish it, um, I've done the majority of this part here and down here into the rocks. So again, I'll put a picture up of where he was at the beginning of the year. So that one is Chief Eagle's Brick. Yeah, I was a bit ambitious thinking I might be able to get him finished. <laughs> and then I didn't get to work on him. But hmm. oh, never mind. Hmm. Um, the next one is a project that didn't get worked on this year. And this is another pain free crust piece. And this is uh, artwork by Luciana Labelle. And it's called Cold Bravery. This is this one. And this one I am stitching on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it one over one full cross. So I don't have a huge start on here. About halfway through page one, I think. So that's where <laughs> this one is starting from. So yeah, page one finishes here, about halfway through. So I'd like to get some good progress in on this one next year as well. 
but I'm not going to stitch a uh, stick a stitch count on it. I'll just see what I can get. <laughs> Next one I have is again another piece by um, ooh, sorry by Tilton Crafts. Um, this one is called Dark Force. I don't think that's it. Artwork is by T Sander. Um, so which is this one? So Darth Vader. Now this one I am stitching on. I probably stuck to the third. forty count Woodland Brown Newcastle um, Ada. Oh, no, it's not Ada. It's linen. And I'm doing it one over one tenth stitch. So it's only a very small start. <laughs> so that is where we are at the moment. That's about 400 stitches, I think. I don't know if that's going to focus on that properly. So I'd like to get some good work on this one this year. We'll see how we go. The next one we have is one that I have worked on, which is Daydreams Tigers. This is a chart by Charting Creations. Artwork is by Sheena Pike. And I am working in this area up here. Now this one again is being stitched on 28 count easy guide. And I'm doing it two over one 10 stitch. Now this one got 1,110 stitches in this this year. Let's move the park threads. So this is where we're up to on that one. So most of the stitching I've done this year has been in this part, filling in a lot of here. I'm down to here. Really nice bright colours in this one. So again, this one, it's just stitch what I can when I can. The next one we have is another one um, by Pain Free Crafts. This one I have not stitched. This is in the back by Alara, who is on Floss Tube as well. And this one is Dragons of the Sabbat. Artwork is by Anne Stokes, I believe. Yes, Anne Stokes. Now this one hasn't been worked on this year. Now this one is on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it one over one full cross. And yes, I'm stitching another black background because I'm crazy. So this is where we are on there. So I'll start it on all the black and then decide I want to find a dragon. So I'll stitch across to the dragon. <laughs> if you want to see what all the black on the outside looks like, if you check out Alara, um, she was doing a challenge with me this year and she had to stitch all the black on the outside of this pattern. And she was doing really, really well on it. <laughs> So yeah, by all the black on the outside, I mean all the four corners, all the way around. That was a lot of stitching. So this one again, just get worked on it, whatever I can. I'd like to maybe try and get a dragon finish, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, next one is another pain free crust piece. And this one, I'm not sure, uh, Adrian Chesterman is the artist. So you have to excuse this picture, it's a bit cre creased. <laughs> but it's Elephant Puzzle. I'm doing the supersized version of it. And I'm only in, I think I'm in this area here. I think that's where I am. So I'm not stitching the white background on this one. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> this one is being done on 28 count easy guide. And it's done one over one full cross. This one hasn't been worked on this year. This is where we are on that one. Again, if you want to see what this one's looking like, 
um, Sharon from Fun with Cross Stitch. She's doing this one as well, and she's been working in like where the animals are here and onto the tusk. So she's done a fair bit. I'll link them down below anyway. So that's where we're on that one. So again, this one will just be stitch where I can when I can on this one. I do like this one. Back made by Nara, who's Nara Crafts here on YouTube. Okay, so that's my first pile done. So if you give me two seconds, I'm just gonna reset and bring the next pile over, and then we'll continue. Okay, next on my list is another chart, uh, chart kit, and this one again is by DMC. This one is called Egyptian Queen. This is one. And this one again is being stitched on 14 count. It's like a cream aider. And it's two over one full cross or two over one 10 stitch. And again, this one I haven't done any back stitching on it yet. This is where we're on there. This one did not get wet this year. Oops. So this is where we are. So next year I want to at least get this page finished and make a start on this side and try and maybe get a page finish on that side as well. This is one of my oldest whips, so I want to get some work done on this one. <laughs> and obviously get some back stitching done. The next one, excuse the rustling, I'm gonna take this out. This one is another kit by Panna. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this one is called Greek Pots. Now I'm working on these horse parts here in the middle. And this one is being stitched on 14 count white Ada. Two over one full cross. This one did not get worked on this year. <laughs> and this, that's my start. <laughs> So this year I at least want to try and get the, the horses finished off so they look like something. Well, I think the horses. <laughs> so I at least want to get them finished off. Uh, and then again, just stitch whatever I can on this one. Again, excuse the rust, I'm just gonna put this back in the packet. Uh, the next one is a Riolis kit. And I haven't looked this one, sorry. Use the zipper. This is a Riolis kit, and I don't speak Russian, so I'm just calling it horses, which is this one. And this one, again, I think it's been stitched on 14 count. Yeah, 14 count. It says even weave, but I think it's more like Ada. Um, this is two over one full cross with the um, wolves that I provided. Let me just. This one I did work on this year. And this one got 2,331 stitches in on this one. So as you can see, I've got a horse's head coming in now. <laughs> so majority of the stitches I did this year was up the top here and a bit through the horse as well. So you can actually see his head. So this year we get, well, 2024. Uh, again, just get on there what I can. Hopefully, maybe aim for a page finish. Um, the next one is a piece by the Cross Stitch Studio. Now, this piece didn't get worked on this year. Um, this one is called Humility. Oops, excuse me there. Which is this one? That's it. This one didn't get tips this year. And this one has been stitched on 28 count easy guide. And I'm doing it one over one full cross. But don't have a huge start on this one. It's my start on there. <laughs> so this one again, I want to try and get as much as I can on this one. Let's see where we can get to. Wait a minute, 
Nicholas in the back. <laughs> and the next one is another one I didn't work on this year. And this one is Joelle Noel, which was a free pattern I got off on Instagram. And this one I am doing on a 28 count ice blue Cushel linen. And I'm doing one over one full cross. And this is where I'm up to on that one. So I'm about halfway across, I think. So this year I want to at least try and get maybe the whole top row done. At least. If I can get more, I get more. <laughs> Don't bring me. But yeah, I'm enjoying working on this one. When I do work on it. Uh, next one is another one that hasn't been worked on this year. Excuse the rustic more, I'll take this out of here. And this one is called Leopard Cup. It's um, Custom Crafts Ink Chart, which is this one. And this one is on a 28 count, I think. Yes, 28 count, easy guide. Doing it one over one full cross. This is where we are on there. So on this one, I. I want to at least make it to the cup this year and get as much done on him as I can. So I'm in this section here at the moment, so I'm near his head. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I want to get some more work done on this one. I really like this one. And if you haven't noticed the theme with my um, patterns yet, <laughs> I like the big cats. I don't like any animals, but yeah, the big cats are my favorite. One of my favorites. The next one I worked on is a Dear Governor piece, which is London, which is this one. And I'm doing it on the Black Ada, so it's 18 count Black Ada, and you stitch it one over one full cross. Now, this one has been worked on this year, and this one got 1,264 stitches. And you're going to have to excuse me a second while I just sort out this fabric because it's really really big and get the part threads out of the way <laughs> right so this is where we are on London so I think majority of this year's work has mainly been in this tower here I have done a little bit across here as well to start the next tower You'll see what I've done anyway from my before and after pictures. Yeah, that's London. But normally my tower looks like it's leaning. It's not looking too bad at the moment. <laughs> so this one, next year, I want to at least try and complete this tower and maybe the one that's on this side. So this tower is this one at the moment. So I want to maybe do that tower as well. But we'll see how we go. project I have is um, another Heaven and Earth Designs and this is artwork by Ciro Machetti or however you pronounce his name everyone pronounces it different <laughs> this is Magic Moment in Time I'm doing the core expansion version on this one I am doing on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it 2 over 1 10 stitch and I've been working in this area up here so I'm working over two pages at the moment this one did get working it this year. This got uh, 3,030 stitches. Okay. So this is where we got up to on that one. So a lot of the stitches was finishing off this column here and through this part over here. 
and a little bit in the tiger because this is when I realized that the tiger's actually got a uh, chronic running through it. So yeah, so that's what we're up to with that one. And again, for next year, I want to at least try and finish off all this page and maybe get that page finished as well. I think I've been saying that now for two years, but hey, there we go. <laughs> it will get done eventually. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Right, the next one is another piece which you buy at Custom Crafts, which is uh, Majestic Tiger. So if you've been with me for a while, you see, you know I've already completed this one. I'm doing it again for a friend. Um, now this one I'm doing on 20 count easy guide, and it's two over one full cross. Um, this one got. 1,433 stitches in this this year. I'm just with the power threads. So this is where we got up to on that one. So I've almost got the page finish on this one. I've just got a little bit, a little section here to finish off. So next year, obviously finish this page and I'll at least want to get maybe the next, or and maybe all the way across the top. These aren't very big pages, so we'll see how we go with that one. Next one is another Tilt and Crafts piece, and this is again our by T Sanders, and it's Master. So this is the companion piece to the Dark Side, Dark Force even. That's uh, Master, and this one is again being stitched on 40 count um, Newcastle linen, one over one full cross, and again not a very big start, about 400 stitches. Uh, it's not one over one full cross, it's one over one ten stitch. So this is where we are on there. So again, this one I'd like to get some decent progress in on this one as well. But we'll see how we go. The next piece we have is Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is artwork by Donna Gelsinger. Um, and this is Mini Deer Creek. And now again, this one I've already done. Oh, I did it for my brother. And I'm stitching it for myself because I really like this one. And this one has been done on 28 count Brittany Lugana in the colorway Sage. And I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this is where we are now at the moment. So, not a huge amount done on this. So, this year I want to try and make good progress on this one and maybe get all the way across the top, but we will see how we do. Again, we'll get what in what we can get in. But yeah, we really like this one. That one did not get worked on this year. Uh, the next one, this one did get worked on this year. And this is another Heaven and Earth uh, piece. It's called Mini Tiger on the Rocks and it's artwork by the Coast State Weather. And I'm working in this area up here. Hmm. Now this one again is being stitched on 28 count easy guide. And I'm doing it 2 over 1 10 stitch. Now this one got 1,433 stitches in. Just save my needle before I lose it. The path threads. So this is where we got up to on here. Probably would have been more, but I had to restitch this section about three times because I did it wrong. <laughs> So that's what we got up to on that one. So again, this one, I'm, I'm gonna aim to get this page finished this year. And if I get more done, I get more done. I'm just throwing my stuff on the floor. And I think when it's laminated, it just sticks to the floor and you can't pick it up. <laughs> uh, next one is another piece by Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is artwork by Jodie Bergsman. And this is mini top frogs, max color. Now this is the one that I was doing with the challenge with Alara. So she was stitching all the black brown dragons, dragons of the Sabbat. And I had to 
I'll finish this one. So this was a new start this year. Um, so I started it, well, I started it New Year's Eve um, while I was over in the UK because I was doing no new starts this year. So I started it New Year's Eve and then I finished it on the 17th of December. So this is not washed or ironed yet and it's got way too much fabric still attached to it. So this one got, where is it? 78,975 stitches to complete it. So that's mini top frog in all his glory. And anyone who is thinking of doing the mini top frog one, uh, I suggest not doing the max color. <laughs> oh, very, very, very heavy confetti. So I'll bring it so you can see. So yeah, this is stunning piece. So yeah, so that was a start and finish this year. I stitch him again, but not Max Gull. <laughs> That's that one. Uh, the next piece is a chart by um, Stitching Jewels. So Stitching Jewels Designs. And this is um, Tiger Monochrome. That's the name's that. So it's all just one color. And this one I'm stitching on a piece of, I think it's 25 count, I think. Um, tangerine color fabric, which Kelly from Curl Stitches dyed for me. So I think it's 25 count. This one hasn't been worked on this year. This is where we are on there. So I only had like one or two stitching sessions on this sofa. Um, so this year, I don't think these are many. Um, once I'm able to at least get half, half of it done, if not all of it finished. So yeah, that's a really bright orange fabric. <laughs> it's a good job I haven't got my orange t-shirt on, I blend in. So yeah, so that's where we are on Monochrome Tiger. So we'll see where we get to on that one. The next one is another piece by the Cross Stitch Studio. And this one is Native Wolf, which is this one. And I am stitching this on a 28 count easy guide, two over one 10 stitch. This one has been worked on this year and it's got 1,669 stitches. And there's a lot of part threads on this one, so bear with me two seconds. So, I'll fold it in half. <laughs> there we go. So this is where we are on there now. So say hello to Santa. Uh, <laughs> so this year, I think I finished this page off here and made a good start on this page. Oh, sorry, you can't see because it's white on white. And then I filled in a couple of ninja stitches that were through here. So yeah, this year I want to try and get a good couple of pages done on this one. Whether I do or not is a different thing. I really like how that one's turning out. The next one is another piece by Heaven and Earth Designs and this is um, artwork again by Sierra Machetti and it's North American Mammals. And this one's max colour, which I don't mind. Now, I've only done a bit in this one so far. I'm up here in this corner. And this one is on 28 count um, Monaco. Um, is it Lagana, I think? And I'm doing one over one full cross. That's my start, there it is. All I've done on this so far, like I said, this wasn't stitched on this year, is that. So this year, again, I want to try and get some good progress in on this one, and maybe at least get one or two pages finished. But we will see where we get to on that one.
Next piece is probably my oldest piece. You're gonna have to bear with me, just make sure I put out the right piece. Um, which is a Janling kit, um, which is Northern Lights, which is this one. And this one has been stitched on 14 count black Ada, and it's, um, I think it's three over one full cross on the bottom part. And this is all uh, half stitch at the top. So, so I've still got, I started this originally and then I've had to restart it again. Uh, that's, that's the original one. <laughs> I got too close to the edge. So I've restarted it. So this is the other one. This one hasn't been worked on this year, um, but this one I want to try and maybe get this one finished. This is my oldest piece. And again, it's black aided, so I apologize. So this is where we're up to on there. So that part is the top of this wolf here. So that's that part. And then we go down into the walls. So the bottom half section of the walls, there's not much left to go on it. I've only got, I think, up to about here. So that part is getting there, almost done. And then it's just the big, big one at the top. So that's why I want to aim to try and get this one finished this year. So I really like this one. I'm going to say it's one of my oldest, well, it is my oldest project. <laughs> uh, next one is another one that hasn't been worked on this year. And this is another long dog sampler. And this is Pandemic. I'm sure everybody knows this one. And I'm only in this, the first page still on this one. And this one is being stitched on, it's an undown fabric, but it's 28 count, um, like a, I think it's a Monaco, uh, Monaco, uh, Mocha, but I'm not 100% sure. So this is where we're on there. So this hasn't been worked on this year. This is being stitched with uh, Mrs. Sader Silk, um, the colorway Pride. And as I said, I'm doing it one over one full cross. I think this is the bottom of the page here. So I've not got much of the page left to do. I've finished the first page. Um, this one I at least want to try and get all the way across the top row and get those done. So I think it's only like three pages, maybe four. So I'd like to try and do that just to get some progress in on this one. Well, again, we'll see where we get to. one of this section and then I'll uh, reset again is another freebie that I got line and this one is called pumpkin party this is no longer available <coughs> excuse me um, so that's this one this hasn't been stitched on this year either um, this one is stitched on 14 count yellow Ada which I had in my stash and it's two over one full cross so this is where that's up to at the moment. <laughs> so we've got the crow, raven's foot, whatever it is, and then part of the pumpkin. <laughs> now this one's not a big stitch at all. It's only about 10,000 stitches altogether. Um, so I'd like to try and get this one finished this year if I can. Preferably before Halloween. <laughs> so I could maybe pull it up. But that's pumpkin party. Okay, so if you bear with me again, I'm going to get this lot moved and bring the next lot over. Okay, right, so the next section we've got then. So the first one, we're going to start off with a uh, fully finished. Um, now this is Quick Stitch of Spirit of Winter Robin. This is, again, Heaven and Earth Designs, and it's artwork by Ciro Machetti. Now, I haven't got a picture of this one, uh, but you'll be able to see what it looks like anyway. Um, so I finished this one back in February, I think. Um, so I'll put a picture in of where it was at the start of the year and this one got 28,703 stitches in this one to finish it off. So I'm hoping the glare's going to drop everything. Hoping the glare's not too bad. Uh, you buy that? Yeah. So this is Quick Stitch Spirit of Winter Rubbing. So I really enjoyed working on this one. Once I got into the swing of it, it was quickly done 
So yeah, so that is the finish. Again, apologies for the glare. Okay, the next one is a piece by Oritm, and this one is Quaker Turtle. And I'm just in this section here at the moment. Now again, this one is a piece of fabric that was dyed for me by Kelly from Kel Stitches. So I think it's 18 count. Oh, hang on, this one's still got a label on it. Yeah, 18 count Ada. And I'm stitching it with um, silks. So I'll pull over so you can see. Yeah, I haven't put anything behind it. <laughs> Nope. not very good at this following thing. So this is where I got to on there. So this is a mixture of silk. So this is Mrs. Sager's Silk Darling. And these are two are from Silks For You. Um, so they were just in a, I think it was a Christmas box. Well, that's where we are on there at the moment. So again, this one, I just want to get some good progress in on this. So that's the, uh, the fabric, it's a little bit brighter than that. Can't really tell how bright it is, but yeah, that's the fabric. It's awesome fabric. <laughs> this is gonna look good when that's done. So again, I just want to see what I can get done on this one this year. So I didn't get worked on this year. The next one, another piece that I haven't worked on this year, and this one is from Heaven and Earth Designs, and it's artwork by Donna Gelsinger. And it's ornament the end of Christmas, or as I call it, reindeer. That's the reason it's in R. <laughs> so this one is on 28 count easy guide, and I'm doing it 2 over 1 10 stitch. So I started doing this uh, extreme cross country, but I've changed my mind. I'm just going to work from the top down. So this one I want to try and finish this year. So that's where we are. As you can see, I started with the greens, the dark green, I think 500 it was, something like that. So yeah, I want to try and get this one finished this year. So I think it's, again, I think it's about 22,000 or 28,000 stitches to finish this one off. So we'll see where we get to on that one. I want to try and at least get one, one, one of these ornaments done <laughs> next year. Um, next one is from a Russian designer, so I don't know where it's from. Uh, it's called Savannah Spirit, which is this one. And again, I'm up here in this section. Now this is on 28 count easy guide, and I am doing it one over one full cross. This one I have worked on this year, but it hasn't got, had an awful lot of work done into it. This one only got 897 stitches in this one. So that's probably go up to on that one. So again, this year, I want to, well, 2024, I want to try and get as much work in this one as I can, because I really like this one. One of my favorite big cats on there, which is a cheetah. You wouldn't think so, since everything I stitch is mainly tigers. <laughs> Ooh, sorry for the noise. I didn't want to go in. The next one is a, a project that I charted myself, which is called Sleeping Koala. Now I started this on 28 count easy guide, and I'm doing it one over one full cross. But I've recharted this one and made it smaller. So I think I cut off like part of there and there because I have on my own Etsy shop to put this in there. And I deleted the wrong file. So I deleted this file. So I don't have the pattern for this no more. So I'm gonna have to restart this one. So luckily I didn't get too far on this. So that's as far as I got. So I didn't get an awful lot done on there. So that's part of this. And that's like his ear into his face. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna be restarting this one. Um, so I'll probably change this to the, the new version, obviously, because I don't have this one anymore. I'll change it to the new version and then we'll start again. <laughs> so 
So that will be a new start next year. Well, a restart, should I say, next year. Right, the next piece I've got is another piece by um, Crossy Studio. Oh, again, sorry, this is still in the bag. And this was the Mystery Stitch Along from 2020. <laughs> so a little bit behind. And this is Sleepy Alec. So this is a full picture of what it is. And I've completed page one. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit behind. So this year I want to try and get some good progress in on this one. So I'm gonna work across the top and see if I can get the top row done. Try. Now this is on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it two over one 10 stitch. So, oops, excuse me. That's where we're gonna be starting from on there. That was page one done. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got a little bit to go um, to complete this. So yeah, so that'll get some work on it this year. Some of them stitch up really, really quickly. It just depends on how much more fit is in there. So, you know, now I might get a page or two done on that one. Excuse me, it's lost you, but she knows. Um, ah, right, the next one is another pain free craft piece. Excuse me while I get the pattern out. And this one is artwork by Barrett Biggers. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this one is slots. How cool is that? <laughs> so this one, again, was a tiny start last year while I was over in the UK. So I didn't get an awful lot done on this one. Um, and this one is our 28 count easy guide. I'm doing it one over one foot cross. So that way around, you probably won't be able to see what I've done. Um, I've done a little bit here. <laughs> and I think I started, yes, I started on the white over here. <laughs> I started on the white and then decided I wanted to get nearer to the sloth, so I can stitch it in. So that's where we are on that one. So this one, I want to get some good good progress in on this one because I really like that pan. So hopefully, I can get some good progress in it this year. I'll pull that out in a minute. Oh, and I've just dropped my needle minder. Where the back of oh, both parts came off, so that's okay. <laughs> and it covered the needle, which is even better. <laughs> um, right, next one. This one did get work on this year. Now, this one is another cross stitch studio piece, and this is called Smiling Tiger. I'm still in the top part over here. <laughs> How cute is that one? Um, so this one is being done on 28 count easy guide. I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this one got 1,269 stitches in on this one. But not an awful lot. That's where we are. Now I, was, I did start doing the um, Royal Rose method and then it's not for me that one so I changed it back. I'm going cross country. <laughs> That's uh, Oh, we are smiling tiger. So again, this one, try and get as much as I can on there. When I can figure it out to fold it up. There we go. Real floss tube, she knows. Um, next one we have. Uh, this one hasn't been worked on this year either. It was meant to be, but I didn't have half the colours. So I changed it down. This one is Snow Dragon. It's Heaven Earth Designs. And it's outworked by um, Anne Stokes. And this one I am stitching on 28 count easy guide. I'm doing it 2 over 1 10 stitch. And this is where we are on that one. So again, that's the top left-hand corner. 
So I've got all the cores for this one now. So hopefully I can get some good progress in on this one this year as well. We'll see what happens when it gets pulled out. Okay, the next one is another Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is um, Ornament, the Enchanted Christmas Snowman. So Snowman, I pull this under, that's why it's in S's. <laughs> and this one is the one I'm doing Extreme Cross Country, and I'm doing all the black on there first. This one hasn't been worked on this year. If I manage to get the reindeer one finished this year, then I will pull this one out and see how far we can get on this one. You don't mind it. Now this one is stitched on 28 count. I don't know what fabric it is. It's, D, it's a DMC fabric. Um, 28 count fabric. 20110 stitch. So oops. this is where we are on that one. <laughs> so I've got a little bit more of the black to do and then all the black's done. And then starting on the next colour. Again, if you want to see how this one's turning out, um, Holly from Stitching Big Thing with Holly, um, she's doing this one. Um, she's a lot further ahead than me. So yeah, so that's where we're on that one. <laughs> so as I say, if I finish the other one, then I'll pull this one out and start working on that one and try and aim for maybe two finishes <laughs> of the ornaments. But we'll see. And then the next piece is another piece by the Frosty Studio. All right, itchy nose now. <laughs> and um, yeah. there we go. And this one is called Sunset Koala, which is this one. I'm not stitching the background, otherwise I'm just stitching the koala itself. Um, excuse me. And this one is being stitched on a 28 count of Brittany Lugana in the colorway Sage. So this is the other half of the fabric that I had for Mini Deer Creek. This one got worked on this year and it got 1,582 stitches. This is where we've got to on there. So I've almost finished that year now. Excuse the method. So yeah, so we made a bit of progress in on that one. seem to be missing a project. There's meant to be another one in between these. Must have fallen into my last pile. I think mine goes in the way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, right. So that was it for that pile. So I've got the, the last pile. We're almost done. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, last section. Um, and I apologize if you can hear some kind of strange noise in the background. I don't know if you can hear it over the fans. Um, some, I don't know where it is, some in insect of some kind, it's about this big, it's huge. Uh, it's in the tree, making a right racket. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a cicada or what. I've never seen it before. Uh, I've never seen a cicada, so I don't know if it's one of them or if it's something completely different. But it's huge, it's about that big. <laughs> It's massive. Right, anyway, I digress. Uh, so, the project that I missed out uh, is falling into this other one. So this is a project from Unconventional Cross Stitch, which is called Solstice, which is this one. Oh, a couple of people doing this one. Now this one, I'm not stitching the blue background. Um, this one is on 25 count uh, Lugana, which again was hand dyed by Kelly from Kel Stitches. This one wasn't worked on this year. It's not an awful lot on it. This fabric is huge. I've just got to try and find the start. <laughs> and oof, that's my start on there. <laughs> so hopefully this year I can get a, a fair decent bit in there and maybe get one of these McCall's because uh, I'm near this McCall here. So maybe get this McCall finished see how we go but yeah this fabric is absolutely 
massive. I don't know if I need all that, but <laughs> I've got it all. So we'll see how we go with that one. Smack myself in the head with it, as you do. Flat wrangle in the bed sheet. <laughs> Right, next one is another Heaven and Earth design. Uh, it's another super size piece, and this is a super size water hole master. This is artwork by David Penfound. Oh, he's stopped, thank goodness for that. Um, it's not max color, it's just normal color. And Jemima of the Rock Institute stitching this one. She was one who made me want to start this. Um, I only want it because I like how this elephant turns out. <laughs> so I'm only up here at the moment on that one. And I am stitching this on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it one over one full cross. Now this one got 1,429 stitches in it this year. So this is where we are on there. So this is the bottom of page one here. So I've gone a little bit further. Um, so yeah, so I've got a fair bit to go on that one. So I want to maybe try and get this page finished at least this year, well, next year, 2024. <laughs> I'll maybe get on starting to the next page because the next page is when the elephant comes in. So we'll see. I'll see what we can get done on that one when it gets pulled. Next one is a piece by um, Cross Stitch for Everyone. And this one is called Tenderness. And I'm in this area up here at the moment. And this one I am stitching on 28 count easy guide. I'm doing it two over one 10 stitch. This one got worked on this year. This one got 1,698 stitches. This is where we are, so I finished the first page. I guess that's the first page. I don't know why the first page is smaller than the rest are larger. Um, so I finished the first page and then made to start the second page. So you want to pull this one out? I'll just continue working on this page and try and get this page finished. The next one, I worked on this one as well. This one is a, is a dimensions kit. And this one is Tiger Chilling Out, which is this one. I've mainly been working in on his head this year. And this one is stitched on 18 count Black Ada. And it's either two over one full cross, three over one full cross, and all this part down here is half stitches, I believe. Um, so this one, straight there, I've uh, got a total of 1,819 stitches in on this one. So this is where we are there now. So as you can see, I've mainly worked on this part of his head. I've done a bit on the back here. So for next year, I want to at least get his head finished and a good start on his back and see how we go. I thought I had a thread going across his face and I don't. But yeah, it's looking so cool. I really like these dimension kits. I have to search out some more. So yeah, 1,819 stitches on that one. Next one is a finish. So this one was a um, kit and it was from Design Works Crafts Inc. And this one is Tiger of the Heavens. Um, I don't have the cover photo, um, but this was Tiger of the Heavens. I did 3,616 stitches to finish this off, and this was my first finish of the year. So, that glare is bad. Uh, I might have to insert a picture of this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to insert a picture, I think. 
I was like, put it in anyway. Yeah. Kind of, like that. <laughs> Sorry about the fun. So yeah, this is Tiger of the Heavens. So this year I finished off all the planet and the this side, I think. Yeah, this side here. And then did the uh, the stars. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Tiger of the Heavens. Absolutely stunning. Uh, next one, I worked on this one as well. <laughs> this one is another piece by um, Pain Free Crafts. And this one is called Totem. Again, it's by Euro Bell. And then this section up here on this one. And this one is on 28 count easy guide. And I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this one got 1,646 stitches in it this year. So this is where that one ended up as. I've nearly finished page one. I think page one finishes here. I've nearly finished page one. So I'd like to get some good progress in on this one as well this year. I really like how this one turns out. It's only a small piece as well. Well, for me, it's only a small piece. It's not a huge, overly huge project. So we'll see how we go with that one. But yeah, I really like that one. Um, next one is another day coming a piece, and this is a kit. Can I get the picture out? Yes, this is Tulip. Now, this is stitched on, I think it's 16 count uh, white Ada, and it calls for two over one full cross. I didn't like the coverage on it, so I'm doing it two over, uh, calls for two over two full cross. I didn't like the coverage of it, so I've changed it to two over one full cross. This didn't get any work in it this year. Um, this behind it. So this is where I am on there. So I started in the middle and then just counted my way up. So yeah, so we'll see what kind of progress we can get in this one this year when we get that pulled out. Apologies, I think it's ironed. You can never go back in when you want them to. Come on, Kitty. Thank you. We're getting there, and a couple more left again. Uh, next one is another Heaven uh, design piece. Uh, this one is artwork by Jan Patrick Krasny. He's probably one of my favorite designers on there. And this is Underwater Dolphin and Turtle. Now this one didn't get worked on this year either. And this one is being stitched on 28 count um, Lugana. I think it's Lugana. Great label. Yeah, 28 count Lugana. And I'm doing one over one full cross. You have to bear with me a moment, this piece is rather large. I'll just fold this up so you can see what I've done. So, we started there, and then worked my way across to the dolphins. So I did the two dolphins. This was for a challenge that I did. And I started filling in the page above it. So this year I want to um, finish off that page there and make my way back towards this just to make sure I've got all this in the right spot. <laughs> and I counted correctly. So I really like working on this one. So we'll see where we get to on this. So there's gonna be a lot of blue stitching on there next year. But I really do like that one. Uh, next piece is another Heaven and Earth Designs. Again, artwork by Jana Patrick Krasny. And this one is Waterhole Guardians. And 
you doing? Apologies, this one's still in the bag. So yeah, wonderful guardians. And I've been working in this area again up here. Now this one has been stitched on 28 count easy guys and I'm doing it two over one tenth stitch. So this is where we are on there. So I've almost finished page one and I made a start on page two. Um, so yeah, so on this one I'd like to get this page finished and possibly this phase page because I'll bring part of the elephant in. You can see part of the elephant's tusk here coming in. That's been absolutely brilliant. There we go. So we'll see where we can get to on that one. But again, that one wasn't worked on the machine. Um, next one is another Heaven and Earth design. Um, this one is artwork by David Penpound, which is White Tiger. And this one I'm stitching on Navy um, Vagana. One over one full cross. And this one I restarted, so bear with me, I just want to make sure I've got the... Yes, I started it on 28 count, it was too small. Um, so I changed it to a 25 count. Again, excuse the part threads. <laughs> this one hasn't got much done, it. That's all I've got done <laughs> so far. So this one, again, I'd like to try and get some good progress, or at least get a page finished. So, we'll see how we go. So that's one. Next one is another one that hasn't got work on this year. This one is Whitetail Winter. This is another piece by the Cross Stitch Studio. This one. And I'm doing the crop version, but this thing is still massive. <laughs> this is a piece that um, my brother will get eventually. I don't know when, but he will get it. <laughs> there are a couple of pieces going on for my brother. I'm starting another one next year. I'm crazy. Um, this is 28 count easy guide, one over one full cross. Again, you'll have to excuse the uh, part threads are everywhere on this one. But that's where we are on that one, so not much. <laughs> I think I've finished, almost finished page one, and I'm halfway through page two as well. So again, this one needs to get as much work as I can on that one for him. <laughs> oh, speak for him, I'll do that one afterwards. Next one. It's my nemesis piece. <laughs> so this is another Heaven and Earth Designs. When I can get it out. This is artwork. Throw it on the floor. Artwork by Anne Stokes, which is Winged Companions. I call it my nemesis piece because I've been working on this one now for about three years and I've still not got page one done. <laughs> this one I'm stitching on 25 count easy guide and I'm doing it one over one full cross. And when I can find the start, there we go. So I've almost done page one. Oh, I keep throwing stuff on the floor. Almost done page one. So this is where we're on that one. So this is a really, really, really dark tree here. <laughs> so I want to get this page finished this year and then get on to the next page and maybe get that page finished as well. Just to get some progress in on this one. But yeah, there we go on that one. So fingers crossed and get that page done. Mm. Mm. Almost finished, only a couple more to go. Uh, next one is another Heaven and Earth Designs. Again, artwork by Jan Patrick Krasny. And again, I've got them in the bag, <laughs> so apologies, didn't realize. 
So this is um, the Wizard Septimus. And again, I'm up here in the left hand corner with the Star Vest or whatever it is. This one again is being stitched on 28 count Easy Guide. I'm doing it two over one 10 stitch. And this is where we are. No, it's not. Get around. Thank you. This is where we are on there at the moment. So this year I want to try and get this page finished and at least get on to the next page. And get this one I've been going for a couple of years. <laughs> Some of these I didn't have the colours for, so hence the reason I haven't got a lot of uh, progress on them. You know, it's like you just need to start everything when you get it. <laughs> right, next one. This one did get away from this year. So, this is the other piece for my brother, which is Heaven Nerve Designs. It's Woodland Christmas. Artwork is by Donna Gelsinger, which is this one, and I'm working across the top. So, I'm on the very last page here this one this is on 28 count easy guy and i'm doing it two over one pen stitch so this one this year has had 8678 stitches done on it so not as much as i wanted to get done wanted to get a lot more than that but never mind so again this has not been ironed so any crease marks you see in there it's not grid lines it's <laughs> crease marks from where it's been in the q snap and there are a lot of part threads on this one um so this is where we're up to. So this year I finished this page here and then started on this page. So not as much as I wanted to. I wanted to try and get that whole top row done this year. So for next year is to get that top row done and then as much of the next row as possible. I want to get to that tree in the middle so I can start seeing some other than blue and white. <laughs> so that one is Woodland Christmas. My brother has a habit of picking really large pieces and then expecting them to be done like within a year. <laughs> it's got no job. That's that one. And then my final piece, now this is not in order, obviously. I always show this as my last project. I think it's a favorite of everybody's. So this one is, uh, again, Heaven Nerf Designs. And this is artwork by Janet Patrick Krasny. And this is my super-sized Tiger Family of the Jungle. And this year, I think as much on it as I wanted to. I think I've only got two pages done, which is down here. I think that's all I managed to get done this year. I did 14,423 stitches on this one. This one is on 25 count easy guide, one over one full cross. So you have to bear with me. This one is rather large and it has a fair few part threads on here as well. So this is where we are on there. We can just get it in. So yes, yeah, so I completed this page this year and this page this year. So I'll show you from the top. There's always something fun to stitch on these when you're going on each page. Like the Tiger Club. So that's where we are on that one. So, and this one is a bed sheet, literally a bed sheet. It's massive. <laughs> so this year what I want to do is I want to get try and aim to get a minimum of 10 pages done but what I'm going to do is instead of working down here because uh, there's like I think one and a half pages more to go maybe two pages to get to the bottom corner I'm going to work across the top because it's going to be easier so I'm going to work all the way across the top so which works out 10 pages so I need to get to the other side <laughs> so we'll see how we go with that one and then if I complete that top row, then I might come down here and do these bottom two. So it's like a page a month. This is only a 21%. So I've got a long way to go. So I've done 21 pages out of 104. I think it's 104. But I really, really, really do like that. <laughs> so yes, so we're going to see where we get to on that one. So fingers crossed, 12 pages next year, but at least 10. So that 
was all my projects <laughs> that I have so far. I'm gonna say there are gonna be a couple I'm gonna be starting next year because uh, I'm crazy like that, but I'm not as crazy as some people. <laughs> so um, again, if you put up with me for this long, I mean, that was what, about maybe an hour and a half ish, roughly. Uh, I'm going to stop it all, all the time, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think we're around about maybe 100, uh, an hour 20, an hour 30. Uh, thank you very much for watching. i say so much appreciated. Uh, I'm going to link all the projects down below and what they're stitched on. Um, if you do have any questions with regards to them, um, feel free to drop a message down below um, and I'll answer you. Um, again, you can email me. Email address as always is uh, dizzystitcher at gmail.com. It's also linked down below. And uh, I'm on Instagram as well, at Dizzy Stitcher. You can message me in there. Now, when I do list these on the side with all the projects, they will not be in order. <laughs> I only went through and sorted the projects out into alphabetical order. So on my listings, they're not in order. They're just like in the order I kind of started them as such. Um, so yeah, so you may have to scroll for those. I'll also link the um, channels for uh, Olara and um, Kelly and Sharon. So, yeah, I'll link those in there as well. So thank you very much for watching. As I say, it's so much appreciated. Again, if you have enjoyed and you're not subscribed and you want to see my progress on these next year, then again, feel free to subscribe. And all that's left to say is Happy New Year. Um, I hope you have a good one. Um, hope you have time to spend it with your family and friends. Um, don't drink too much. Um, be safe. And until next time, take care and happy stitching. Bye-bye for now. Almost forgot to mention. Um, I know some people are not interested in this, but um, I thought I'd tell you how many stitches I actually managed to get done this year. Um, so in total, for all the 23 projects I worked on, I got a grand total of 164,653 stitches done. So I don't think that's bad going. To say I work full time, I don't get much stitching in the evenings. So yeah, I think that was pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, I'll add this bit in because I forgot to add it in.